imagine this. You're casually using your phone, maybe checking your Gmail or scrolling through Facebook, when suddenly, the app crashes. Again. And again. You dig into your phone settings trying to find the cause, and you stumble across something strange. Android System Web View. You didn't install it. You can't delete it. And you've probably never even heard of it. But here's the catch. It's been running quietly in the background of your phone the entire time. And the real question is, what does it actually do? And should you be worried? Stick with me to the end, because what you learn today might just change how you see your phone forever. So, let's get into it. What is Android System Web View? In simple terms, it's a system component created by Google that allows apps to display web content inside the app without opening an external browser like Chrome or Firefox. Think of it like this. When you tap a link in Gmail or click an article inside Facebook and it opens within the app instead of launching Chrome, that's Web View in action. It's essentially a stripped-down version of Chrome running in the background of your apps. Sounds convenient, right? But here's where it gets complicated and potentially concerning. 1. It's hidden, but has deep access. Most users don't even know Android System WebView exists, but it's installed by default on almost every Android device and it has access to everything you view through embedded web windows inside apps. That includes login forms, articles, and even payment pages. So while it's not malicious in itself, it's a bit like giving a ghost browser silent access to what you're doing. 2. It updates automatically without notice. Here's something most people don't realize. WebView updates itself silently in the background through the Google Play Store. No alerts, no change logs, no way to roll back unless you're extremely tech savvy. So when things go wrong, like apps crashing randomly, it's often because of a bad WebView update that users had no control over. In fact, a past update once caused Gmail, banking apps, and even system settings to crash for millions of Android users. The culprit? You guessed it. WebView. 3. Privacy concerns and data collection. Since WebView handles web content, it could, in theory, log or track sensitive user data, especially if the app it's embedded in isn't secure. That includes your browsing habits, search queries, messages or login details typed into web forms inside apps. Now to be clear, Google states that WebView is designed for performance and user experience. But since it's so deeply embedded, always running, and not directly controlled by the user, many privacy advocates argue it's a potential weak point in Android's ecosystem. Can you remove or disable WebView? The answer depends on your phone and Android version. For older Android versions, before Android 10, you can go to Settings, Apps, Android System Web View. Tap the three dots in the top right, select Uninstall Updates or Disable. For newer versions, Android 10 and above, WebView is either part of the Chrome app or the OS itself. You can't fully remove it unless you use developer tools like ADB commands and a computer. To check if you can uninstall it, go to Settings, type Android System Web View in the search bar. Tap the app. If there's an Uninstall or Disable button available, you can tap it, though we recommend caution since disabling it could break other apps. So, is Android System Web View a helpful tool or a hidden threat? The answer is, both. It's essential for many apps to work correctly, but it's also invisible, powerful, and mostly outside your control. That makes it a security risk if left unchecked. And as tech becomes more embedded in our lives, shouldn't users have the right to decide what runs silently in the background of their devices? So I want to hear from you. Do you trust Android System Web View? Do you think Google should give users more control over it? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Let's talk about it. If you found this eye-opening, give this video a thumbs up to help others see it too. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss videos that reveal what's really going on with your phone. This is Techful Things, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay smart.